Hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA platform tutorial. So the last two tutorials have been really really boring. So this tutorial I'm gonna try really hard to go through it quickly and hopefully we'll be able to get our sprite moving along uh just get a sprite be able to walk across the screen. Uh so uh, what we're gonna do now is uh we're going to okay so we load in our content and we're going to call file manager oh sorry we have a file manager so uh we're going to say that file manager dot load content and we're going to load in the player data so i said player dot cme uh, we need attributes and contents. Now we just need to add that to the entity class. Uh, so we'll just make a list. So attributes and we got our contents. Oh, sorry. They should be, uh, protected or else, uh, our derived classes won't be able to see it. Okay, so we got our attributes and our content. So we got to scroll through everything we got. And this should be familiar to you. Okay, so switch attributes IJ. Okay, so we got uh what we're gonna what are we gonna load in? So I guess we'll load in the health. Uh we'll say health is equal to int dot parse contents IJ. Uh, I guess we'll load in the frames. Uh, so we can say, uh, string. Uh, let me see. Uh, I, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it the exact same as I, I do with the position. So frames is equal to uh contents ij dot split. And then we'll have to add that to our, our animation as well. Uh so we'll say that move animation is equal to new uh new sprite sheet hmm sprite sheet animation unless i didn't make it public oh yeah cuz it's in a different namespace Okay, so we got we made a new spreadsheet animation. So we could say that I guess we'll make a vector two quickly, a temporary vector two. So we'll say temp frames is equal to new vector two uh int dot parse frames zero. And int dot parse, or we could do float dot parse, but uh, most yeah, you're gonna want int dot parse. Sorry, so frames uh one and break. So we get in our frames uh and for the most part uh that that's all we really need uh up to this point right now. 
Uh, so we load in our content, and after we load in our content, then I guess we gotta set up our animation. Uh, so I'll say, uh, move animation dot load content. We got a content manager for our image. Oh, we didn't load in an image. So I'll say case image, and we'll store that. So we need to go to our entity class again. Uh, we didn't create anything for our image. On each entity, it needs an image. So we'll texture 2D uh, image. So let's go to player.cs, and we're going to say content image is equal to content dot load texture 2d and contents ij break okay so we load in our image and so we're going to place in our image right there image for text we have nothing and for our position i guess we could set a default position as well so we'll say uh, position And uh, I guess I'll t just copy this right here. Uh, uh, but instead, I'll set up. I have a position variable, and we'll add that to the entity class. So uh, let's make a vector two, protective vector two position. And let's go back to our player.cs. So we got in our position, we got that loaded in, and so we gotta put that in there. Uh, so we gotta set move animation. So we loaded the content of our move animation. And so we, we are going to, I guess, okay, so we're gonna put move animation dot unload content in case we don't unload anything. And for updates, uh, for our update, what we're going to do is we're going to just, we're going to draw the, I guess, draw the player to the screen. So I'll just say move animation dot update, uh, passing game time. And we'll say move animation dot draw. Now I, now there's something that I believe that we did wrong in the sprite sheet animation class. Uh, if we look right here, we only say that we set the source correct if uh, the frame counter is greater than or equal to whatever, right? We want to set the source correct regardless, right? Even if uh, if it's active, even if it's not active, we still want to set the source rectangle so it's not going to show the whole image frame if it's active, if it's not active or whatever, or so on and so forth. Uh, so what we're going to do is just go to player.cs. Uh, we got our... We got everything set up and we got our move animation set up. So what we're going to do is go to our gameplay screen. Uh, and we're going to make an instance of player. And and the load content we'll call player equals new player. Uh, so we got player dot load content. Uh, we have our content manager and we have our input. Uh, player dot unload content in case we don't load anything. For the updates. Just gotta call player dot update and we'll call player dot draw. So let's see if we can actually get our player on the screen, uh, our cropped out player on the screen. Hopefully everything goes as planned. So when we press this. Oh, we didn't even specify an image yet. We didn't. We didn't even create our player file. So we need to create that file quickly. Uh, so I got my player image uh right here. So I'm gonna copy this. It's player image one, and I'm gonna put this in my project folder. So let's see. Uh, so we got a player image one and so let me just add this to the game contents 
add existing item player image one and now we just gotta uh, create our, our load content so we gotta make a copy of that rename it to player dot CME or whatever you want to call it uh, so we're gonna load in the image uh, to position uh, what else do we gotta load in the health uh, and the frames uh, we don't actually set the frames of the health so all we really need right now is the image in the position so I'll just say the image is going to just be in it's called player image one and our position is going to be equal to zero zero so let's run this see if it runs Uh, so we get uh, another error and for the sake of time I'm going to pause and then figure out the error okay so I believe the error is uh, in fact if we go to our entity class uh, in the load content we're also going to say that attributes equal to new list and contents equal to new list so let's try this one more time Okay, so we got our, our first image uh, displayed. And as you probably saw, it drew the whole image and then after it, it cropped it out. Uh, we will fix that in the following tutorials. Uh, let me just run this one more time just to show you guys. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, but if you look at the if you look at the top left corner, so let me zoom out here. Uh, so if you look at the top left corner. Shows the whole image and then it it, um, it shows that again and and I'll explain why that's happening in the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, uh, thanks for watching and.